Hasbin Hotel and Hell of a Boss, of course, focus on the setting of Hell, with Hasbin giving us Earthborn Sinners as a focus and Hell of a Boss focusing more on natural born citizens. Despite being rooted mostly in Christianity's ideas of Hell, we don't exactly have clear answers on where the natural born demons of Hell actually came from. God has yet to be mentioned in the show, outside of a joke from Blitz, but even if he does exist as an entity in the universe, it doesn't tell us the story of how imps and hellhounds came to live in hell. Where did these species come from? My name's Deep Cut, this is Cartoon Universe, and today we're going to be breaking down four facts about Hasbin Hotel and Hell of a Boss that you won't hear on the show, at least yet. And with their help, we may be able to answer exactly how demons were created. Now before we jump into that, I want to thank everyone from our last video who subscribed. I'm really proud of how well these Hasbin Hotel commentary videos are doing, but only 7% of viewers are actually subscribed to us. After talking about that in the last video, we got 5 times as many subscribers than usual, so thank you all for your support, and I hope you like what we come out with next, and if you haven't subscribed, it's not too late. Where would you rather be in a week, subscribed or listening to me throw shade at you for not subscribing? Fact 1. Razzle and Dazzle were created by Lucifer himself. Charlie is, of course, the princess of hell, and while there is still some debate about just how much torment the other demons can inflict upon her, both because of her supposed immortality and her insane power level, it seemed important to Lucifer that Charlie have some form of protection when he's not around, which was pretty common apparently, as Vizipop has described him as a good dad, but an absent one. Vaggie had to be checked out by the main family to ensure that she could help protect Charlie, but before her, Charlie's protection came from these tiny demon goats we see in the pilot, who are named Razzle and Dazzle. They are designed to look like stuffed animals, because in the world of the show, they actually were Charlie's toys growing up. At some point, Lucifer used his magic to bring them to life to be her bodyguards. Now, this may seem unimportant, but there are a few interesting details about Razzle and Dazzle that support the theory that all demons were created similarly to them, by Lucifer, or perhaps by one of the other higher level demons. Razzle and Dazzle don't showcase this in the show, at least not yet, but like all demons, it's been confirmed by Vizipop that they have this small, simple form that we see for everyday life, but they have the ability to transform into a bigger demon at will. All demons have this ability, but we've only seen bits of pieces of it here and there, such as Charlie growing horns in her song, or Angel and Katie Killjoy growing extra arms, with Alistair being the only one to showcase his full transformation in one of the comics. Like the other demons in the show, Razzle and Dazzle have their own personalities, and they even desire food and have particular tastes in it, indicating that they are just as much a real demon as either the Earthborn Sinners or the Natural Born Citizens of Hell. With that in mind, I think it is possible that Lucifer created lower level demons like imps or hellhounds by simply breathing life into them. That being said, Lucifer himself is not traditionally thought of as being born in hell, but rather that he was cast out of heaven as one of its natural born citizens. This would likely mean that heaven in the has been verse is filled with natural born angels the same way that hell is with natural born demons, and it's possible that, like Lucifer, other demons simply rebelled in heaven alongside him, getting them sent to the different rings of hell but without the authority of the seven princes as they simply weren't as powerful as them. Fact number two, if a demon makes it into heaven, they get a new form, and vice versa. While a demon's body is supposed to be a reflection of their soul, it would appear that heaven and hell themselves affect the way that it presents differently. This explains why when we see characters like Molly, Angel's sister, she looks like a spider demon, despite it being said in live streams that she does not live in hell. This would mean that hellhounds and imps and such could possibly be from heaven and simply have different forms there. For instance, imps might look like cherubs, which acts as a sort of polar opposite to the imps we see in Hell of a Boss. With three of them coming together to form a group that guards over the loved ones of people who passed on to heaven. If the imps somehow traveled to heaven, they might just end up being these little babies or goats. Fact 3. Zuvobia's Hell is not the same as Hasbin Hotels or Hell of a Boss. 
For those who really love Has Been Hotel and Vivzy Pop's work as a whole, you are probably well aware of the Zoophobia comic and subsequent shorts centered in its universe. The series is about anthropomorphic animals and beasts going to school together with their human counselor. In the show, one character exists named Damien, who is the Antichrist, coming up from hell to have a little fun throughout the story, with his father, of course, being the devil. When Hasman Hotel came out, many fans speculated that some characters from Zoophobia would be appearing in the series, and while some have appeared as demons in the background, Vivzy Pop has gone on record saying that Zoophobia's hell is not the same as Hasman's hell, and that any attempt to connect Damien or the devil from Zoophobia's hell to Hasman Hotels will just lead you down the wrong path. That being said, the creator has stated that there is one overarching idea that will connect all of the worlds into one Vivzy Pop multiverse, so if anyone has any ideas what that might be, please leave a comment down below letting us know, but at the moment it seems like that hasn't presented itself in any of the stories thus far. Fact 4, Demons Can Be Punished With Their Forms in several previous videos, we talked about how a demon's form is a representation of their soul, often combining characters' sins with their own personal interests or life stories to shape who they are. One of the most prominent examples of this is Angel and his entire family. In life, they were running a mafia, so in the afterlife, they are spider demons, which represents their web of crime. Then of course there is Alistair, who is literally known as the Radio Demon, and was actually a radio host in his mortal life. On the surface, his antlers give the impression that he's a deer-themed demon, but when we see him take on his full demon mode in the comics, we can see that he's clearly modeled after the modern-day interpretation of the Wendigo, a creature from folklore that is often associated with cannibalism, which is something we see Alistair indulge in in the afterlife, and it's implied that he did this to his victims in real life. You can even see this in the yet-to-be-introduced character Baxter, who takes the form of a fish because he died on a sinking ship. None of this should be new information to someone who is subscribed to our channel or a really big fan of Has Been Hotel, but one thing you may not know is that a demon's form is often also a punishment. According to Vivzy Pop, demons often take the form of an animal, or at the very least have some key features that they absolutely hate. This could be in the form of someone who hates cats being a cat demon, or like Angel finding himself to be overall pleasant looking, but absolutely hating the sight of his own feet, something that his fans apparently obsess over him for. I had to do a lot of digging through really long live streams just to find these four particular facts, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll definitely be doing more. If you have any fun facts that aren't mentioned in the actual show of Has Been Hotel or Hell of a Boss, feel free to leave a comment about it down below, and we'll include it in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.